Podcast? There's too many. <laughs> Everyone's got a podcast. People are starting them. You ever watch a podcast and you look at the views and you go, seven views? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you doing this for, dude? <laughs> Just FaceTime your friends. <laughs> Hey, Scissor Siblings, come see me live doing some stand-up comedy in a city near you. Phoenix, Arizona, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, Winnipeg, so many more like Vegas. Right, Steve? Oh yeah, and make sure to join our Patreon. We have exclusive episodes just on our Patreon. And stay tuned for my album, Puer Eternos, two songs away. Thanks for being patient with us. All right, now let's get into this episode of Scissor, Scissor Bros. Bros. So just tell me to shut up next time. I'm not going to tell you to shut up. This is, come on, man, this is Scissor Bros. If you don't like a story, you know, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> What a special day. We have a very special friend on Scissor Bros podcast today. This is my son, Whitaker. Whitaker. And this is his first podcast. Welcome to the world and welcome to Scissor Bros. He's taken everything in around him. And I think... He likes where he's at. Do you want to say something? Uh -huh. Do you want to say something? Uh -huh. Do you want to say something, baby? Wait, okay. He's my friend. Oh, Whitaker. <laughs> he's my friend. Your Uncle Steve is a special kind of guy And he's gonna be in your life, oh baby I can't wait to show you the world Oh, Whitaker <laughs> Oh, you're my friend He's your friend Oh, Whitaker Till the end Uncle Steve Hasn't been to a dentist <laughs> And neither <laughs> Have you You're almost bigger than me He's almost bigger than He's my almost Korean bigger than me. friend <laughs> He's a purebred white <laughs> He's a big, big boy Till the and end Oh, Whitaker You're my friend He's your friend <laughs> Whitaker So this is my son, ladies and gentlemen, and friends, and scissor siblings. He's chilling. Yeah, I, I uh, can't keep him out here too long because yeah. uh, he's, you know, he's still very small. But I wanted to introduce he, you guys to him. Big. Dude, he's big. He's long. Look how long he wow, is. Wow, he's gonna be the basketball player. He might be. I mean, look how long. Look how long he is. I know. Can I see his face real quick? Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. No, you're good. Oh my goodness. Oh, what an angel. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to give him back to mama. Okay. You have All a good right. nap. All right. It's slider night. Sliders. It's sliders on Scissor Bros. Yay. 
Let's do some slider scissors okay. to begin with. Okay. Are you ready? One Shit. second. Make sure the sliders are facing. Out? Out, like so you can see this. Okay. Ready? If you have sliders at home, do some okay, sliders. Okay, if, sli if you have sandals or sliders at home, there we then, go. Ready? then do it. So One. One. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. nine. Are you doing it home along with us? Eleven. Twelve. We hope so. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 18, 19, 19 and 20, 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We promise you, you'll feel better if you join in with us. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Man. Man, you got, you're, you're blessed. You got a blessed family, a beautiful family, healthy wife, two healthy sons. What oh, more can you ask for, my friend? I'm very grateful, my friend. You know? Things are good. You're looking good, too, man. You, too, man. You you look fresh. Do I? Yeah. You do? I, uh, I've i been getting up earlier. Really? Ooh, yeah. And you've been feeling better from that? No, I feel worse. <laughs> well, it's I'm in a relationship. Doing something nice for your to, skin. I need to step it up to, you know, to make this thing work out. That 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 old Stevie Stevie ain't gonna float with her. I really? Need, I need a new and improved Stevie. Yeah. More responsible Stevie. Really. Paying his bills on time. Paying his spectrum. But bill, you've always been trying doing to that. doing this. Trying to doing that. You've been always been on time for your bills. But you know I could be more productive. Dude, did I tell you I I actually got hit on hit on at my uh, twelve step meeting, by and this guy wields power. I'm not gonna say his name. But dude, he hit on me twice, bro. Oh, I thought it was a girl. No, it was a man. Oh. It kind of looked like he had the Andy Warhol vibe going. Mm. And so uh, I was, uh, my friend had the um, a commitment in the parking lot where you, you stick a cone in the parking space and you wait for the main speaker to come. It, it's similar to the, uh, you know, the comedy store, if like the main act is coming in you have a cone and then you move the cone you and they a park spot for them yeah dedicated so, yeah i was helping my friend do that and this dude walks in and he goes that's the cutest little ornament there and i thought he was talking about oh he says something like like that oh, look at that cute ornament over there and i thought he was talking about the orange cone mm -hmm. i go oh yeah the cone he goes no you <laughs> and so he goes and then he comes back and then to me, my friend, he goes, oh, my God, you guys are the sweetest little cutest things right sitting right there. Is that a little inappropriate or what? Maybe he's just being nice. No. How old was he? 62. So he's younger than you. I'm sorry, brother. You set it up. I had to spike it. Okay, serious question. <laughs> serious question. Yeah. Did, did your pee-pee wiggle a little bit when, like, did it? Oh, no. My butthole just clenched up. It just, you know. I was thinking about that scene in uh, American, uh, oh, no, American History X where Ed Norton's in the shower. And I'm like, that, that's not going to be me tonight, man. That was a little extreme. <laughs> it is he a called, little bit, he right? He called you an ornament and you took it there? No, but I'm saying a different time because I, I brought it up at Korean Barbecue to my other friend who has a commitment. I'm not going to say his name. He leaned in anonymous and he's like, yeah, he's inappropriately touched me too when I'm setting up snacks. Whoa. Yeah. And guess what this guy does for a living? What? This Andy Warhol looking motherfucker. What? He's a lawyer, so he's basically untouchable. I can't do anything to him, even if you, to stake a claim on. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, dude? That's wild. Yeah. So, you know what I was thinking about doing? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going to that meeting. If he does that to me again, I'm just gonna go straight full on Scissor Bros freak out gay mode. I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, go ahead, let's role play a little bit. Like, like, just like. You're that guy. You said what you said that week. Now it's the new week, and I'm I'm in the parking lot. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I like doing this. Go mm. ahead. I see that you're placing that cone there. My butthole's so tight for you. 
I just said that you're placing. It's real tight, dude. I just, I just said that you're placing the cone there. I know, but I want to let you know, dude. My Asian butthole is tight. I don't think the way that you're talking to me is appropriate. Well, I, might I know have to talk about to you, Mister. Word around town is you've been hitting on all the dudes around here. I'm just giving you a little bit of, you know, of your own uh, spice. I was just trying to be nice to everybody. Well, I'm trying to be nice too, and I apologize. And guess what? What? You have a lawsuit on your hands now. (laughs) It was a joke. I'm sorry, sir. Nope. I'm taking it to court. I didn't do anything, though. Mm. What is that? Emotional emotional distress? Mm. You hit on me last week, sir. It's called gay entrapment. Yeah, you did that to me last week. No, no, no. Oh, my God. No, that's hearsay. I'll see you in court. Objection. Okay, I guess it's time for me to call my Beverly Hills <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> Entertainment lawyer. Yeah. Um, have you ever been hit on like that? You've asked me this, but yeah, it's happened. It's happened. You, you probably do it a lot more gracefully than I, I do. I used to do the stand-up bit. I mean, it was like one of the first years I was doing mm-hmm. stand-up. Uh, then it, was, it became one of those things where I, I saw... When you you start doing stand up, you sometimes think that you have a unique premise, and mm-hmm. then you realize that other people have very similar premises. So you stop doing the bit. You're like, ah. Oh, and guess- how does how does that usually happen? Does another comedian walk up to you on the side and pull you aside and say, "Hey, Bruce"? No, if if it's Bruce that clo- Smith it, does this bit. Sometimes, if it's a friend, uh, they might be like, "Hey, like so and so is doing a bit." similar to yours. Like they might be looking out for you, or they might be like, "Ah, that's like kind of an easy." Premise. topic or premise okay so like i had this the premise is really easy there's like gay guys give the best compliments and then that would that that was that's, that's a, funny though it's funny yeah, yeah yeah um but it's like something that i feel like a lot of comedians have done at this point so i stopped doing it like a long time ago but anyway early on in comedy i i would talk about this on stage where it was the best i ever felt was not from a woman's compliment from a man's compliment is uh it was a drive-by compliment this gay guy drove mm-hmm. by while i was walking on hollywood boulevard and he goes i just want to spend one hour with you <laughs> that's real that's real 100 percent real no fabrication at all that and happened it, it was it was he drove by and then you heard it from a distance he yelled it so it literally you and how do you how do you know he was talking to you? It could have it could I have been the, the guy. I was the only person. No, walking. They, there's a lot of people that walk on Hollywood Boulevard, my friend. On that day, there was no group of people around me. It was literally just me, and then there wasn't another person for like a bunch, like almost mm-hmm. a block. And I was just like, oh wow. Okay, so that's just verbal verbal stuff, right? Yeah. When is it? When do you know that the person's taking it too far? Let's say, let's hypothetically this this next meeting, I see the guy, and I'm doing the coffee commitment this time. It'd be crossing the line if he cups my ass, right? Like if he, like, let's say he like goes behind me and he, he like goes, "Ooh, you need a little lift there? Help dude, with this coffee, like, little seems, lift for this coffee like beans." No, no, I get it. Com- dude, this is freestyle. This is I'm coming <laughs> no, off no, the tip top. That, this is dude, not this a cipher. This is coming this off the top, cipher. bro. This is, this is not coming a off the cranium, this is premeditated, bro. No, bro, this is coming no. off the tippity top. No way. No, I'm coming up with this. No, you unlock that. No, I've never thought of this once, bro. I was on war zone. I was doing my thing. Um, so if he cups my ass and he goes, yeah, I can help you with those coffee beans if you'd like. But then he's actually physically on the outside of my shorts. I mean, what do you want to know? I, I mean, is that crossing the line? Ryan, <laughs> I, I, I just feel like every week Steve is asking me for permission to be like, it's not too far, man. You're good, bro. You're all right on that one. You know what? You decide whether it's... Too that's far ta- or not. That's taking it too far, man. And that's that's a moment. There's still a question. No, 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 in your no, no, voice. no. That's There's a moment. Still- Hear me out, bro. That's the moment. I'm working the coffee machine, and I, I immediately do a, a a turn. I go, dude, you're totally <laughs> you, in the wrong. You bro. just Bruce Lee. Yeah, him. yeah, it's a Bruce Leroy. <laughs> like, dude, like you did the wrong thing. You made the wrong choice, bro. You got the wrong one, Andy Warhol. What is up with your Andy Warhol yeah, references That's what he looked today. like. I can't get it out of my mind. He's the same hair, the same glass, the whole shit. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we'll get off it. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Um, Dude. Yeah. I slept for eight hours last night. Nice. 
Wow. Did I wake Ryan. up feeling like a That's brand good. new Ryan, person today? clap. Okay, dude. I said nice. Oh it was God. wonderful. I'm happy you got rest. I was feeling refreshed. You feel good? You, you, your energy's good. Oh, my God. Dude, I had time because I, I was well rested. I got my work done during yes. the day. I played with my older son and yeah. then I got to play with my younger son and feed him. And I got to do yeah. everything I wanted to today. It was an awesome day. That's great. New stand up on the spot premiere. Yeah, man. It was fun. It was just like yeah. a good, good vibe. I, like, that. Good I like it when you get sleep, man. Well, me, me you too. You deserve it. Thanks, man. When was the last time you got that great of sleep? Uh, it's been a minute since I felt this good. Like, yeah. 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 Um, Whitaker hit like a, a new milestone. He hit um, four hours of sleep in one setting. That's like huge right now. What are you feeding the kid, man? What are you feeding the kid? What do you think I'm feeding him? I don't know. He's growing a... Red Bull. What was that? The he Weeby had... Diet. The Weeby Diet. What, you, now, what is the weeby diet? Okay, let me tell you. All right. I'll tell you exactly what your what food pyramid. What did I eat yesterday the I'll whole day? You, what I'll tell I you eat? your freaking food pyramid right now. What did I eat yesterday? Mm. You already know what I start off with, so get that you out You start of off with a Red Bull. Okay, so that's half of what I consume. <laughs> half of your day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're already winning. You're on a winning streak, my friend. Okay. You just have to think of one other item, and I'll be like, that's it. Little Caesars? No. Chicken pot pie? No. Beef jerky? You have to think more snacks and candy and stuff. Milk duds? No. Ooh. What have I... I've been trying to push this particular item on you guys. I go, um. you gotta try it, man. It's the best blank on... Around. Oh. Um, they're cookies, right? Yeah. Chips Ahoy? Yeah, it's the Chips Ahoy Reese's um, collaboration. You ate Red Bull and cookies all day? I drank, yeah, I drank t two Red Bulls and I ate a whole box of those cookies and that was my meal. <laughs> and I'm almost 50. <laughs> when he complains, like, why does my neck look like that? <laughs> Man, that's oh, why. he brought the neck into it, dude. Yeah, you can't be eating that and then complain about why does my neck look like that in the thumbnails, you know? Turn on the fucking fans. <laughs> I've had it up to here. Dude, Can you we turn on those fans? You always comment on the heat in here, and I always Dude, acclimate to it. Dude, because that comment got, it hurt my feelings, I always man. always acclimate you to it. You know that. You know Steve, how much that hurts my feelings. And then Steve's like, what's the difference here? <laughs> what's the, uh, uh, Do I sound like that? I sound kinda, like that. It's kind of hot in here. What's the temperature in here, man? <laughs> um... All right, fair enough. So you're saying if I, let's say, let's, let's say I uh, cut out, cut out the sugar... Because uh, I've been, I have been watching Six Hundred Pound Life. Um, Would you say that Steve's neck is a Victoria's Secret model or a J.C. Penney catalog? Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, what'd you do to your thumb, man? I noticed the Bucky's Band-Aid on your thumb. <laughs> what'd you do, man? You know what? I was trying to hide this from you. You are freaking observant. Yeah, I know I am. I have kids. I've I have been, to make sure I've they're okay and stuff. Shredding my thumb. Of what? With what? It when I was growing up, I used to have a whole thumb thing. Oh, the biting the wrestling yeah. thing? It's back? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not biting it, but I'm shredding it with my fingernails. Why? I don't know. I don't know. The back? I'm afraid to show you guys. What should I show you? Yeah, sure. It's like all right here. Show here, just hold up like by the mic. <laughs> It's healing now, uh. but I was, I was, uh, you're picking at it. Yes. Picking at it. Oh yeah. Mm. Well, cause you have more time on your hands. Literally. What do, you, what do you mean? Oh, I do. You do. Yeah. You have more time. You're waking up earlier. So now you have time yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, pick yeah, your yeah, thumb. Yeah. And then I just got notified by, um, a bunch of my high school friends. I haven't talked to in years. Tom. No. Okay. I asked about Tom. Did you? What did they say? He's not on the list. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's our third year reunion. Are you going to go? I, Can I be your date? I don't have a car to go down there. I'll take you. Can we vlog this? Can we do a scissor bros? Good. Bro, your 30 year reunion and I just interview people. I'll just be behind the camera. I'll be a Dude, fly on the hold wall. hold up, man. Hold up. I will take you to Poway. 
It's not in Poets in Rancho Bernardo. And okay. it's at a country club, and then we that's, need it. That's even closer. We needed to get tickets a hundred dollars a pop pre. Um, it'll come out of the Scissor Bros Fund. We'll be. We'll do it, dude. It's all. It's practically almost too late. They. When is it? This Saturday. Dang it! I know. What time? My wrestling coach's daughter will be there with this. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, these people I haven't seen, and I got love for all of them, Steve. Dude, my you gotta middle school go, like brother. What? You got to go. See what's what you're doing? It's almost bleeding again. You're stressing me out over this reunion. It's Dude, like are you crack there's blood almost I'm coming out. I'm not causing yeah, you, you did that. to bleed out of your thumb just know, by I'm asking you questions you about that. your high school reunion. You that's fucked up, dude. How could you do that? To I'm just kidding. <sighs> Would you go to Did you go to your re- reunion reunion? reunion? <laughs> See, I'm nervous thinking about it. No, uh-uh. Why? Why are you nervous about it? Uh, so how much do you make annually? I just bought a new uh, condominium at Solana Beach. You think they'll ask you that? Yeah. <laughs> dude, 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 people Me are... and my wife Peggy are doing real estate. What are you doing? <laughs> dude, can I be uh, you? You don't can have I be... a car? Steve, can, what, can what, I be you? You want me to do it again? Yeah, yeah, you okay, do Okay, you're me. Okay, I'm you. Oh, hey, little guy. Long time no see. Is that uh, Stevie Lee? Hey. What are you doing here? Did you ride down on your skateboard? <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I, my, my friend drove me. You're, so you don't, you're telling me, Peggy, are you hearing this? Since 1993, Mr. Stevie Lee 103 pounder on the wrestling team cannot afford a car. <laughs> hey, do you know do you know how to make your own caramel apples? Uh, well, we usually go to the cheesecake factory in there. They're about 13.75. Why, son? <laughs> All you gotta do is go to the grocery store, <laughs> grab an apple, grab some milk duds, pop them in your mouth. You have your own homemade caramel apple. Well, hold it there, Jason. Uh, you did hear that, right, Peggy? Stand back. Are you telling me you're so fucking broke you can't afford a caramel apple? I just like it. You know what? I feel bad for you. How much do you make annually? I'm about to pay. Uh, I'll pay your uh, your your fee here, the ticket, uh, the bo- for the buffet. Well, they're about to because you you need to you know there's a certain dress code here, St- Steve. Well, you said you're in real estate. Could you help me? They're about to condemn my apartment. Wait, what was that? Hold up. You're on YouTube. Yeah. So that's what you did with your life? Uh, it's like we graduated in 90 something. Uh, you're on YouTube? Yeah. My son's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to come on the Stevie Weeby show and let's reminisce about high school? Um, If it doesn't have to do with real estate or stocks, I'm not interested, kid. Well, come on. We used to skateboard together. I never skateboard. That's Tom DeLong. I never skateboarded. I was focused on business back then. God. <laughs> This is pathetic. This is our 30 year, year anniversary reunion and you're coming here broke without a car. Hey man. What? Do you want to wrestle? No, but I have someone here that will take you down. Hey, Malliot, get over here. You remember this little pip squeak squirt? All right, I gotta go. See, that's how it's going to be. That scene lasted way longer than I thought it was going to, to be honest. I enjoy doing it. Okay. Um, so I'm worried about, yeah, just uh, just any kind of like reunion kind of situation freaks me out, man. Mm. But a lot of it's in my head too. It could be completely the opposite where it's like, dude, hi, how you doing? It's good seeing you. That's right. what I'm hoping. What if you had people that are like, dude, I watched Steve Movie Show. I watched Scissor Bros. I watched DVD. See, I don't even know how I'd feel about that. Oh, you might feel weird? Yeah, like, dude, I saw you shit in your di- <laughs> diapers. <laughs> I wh- saw the one where you guys shit in your diapers. Steve, then why do you always promote that episode on every podcast we do together? That you're like, because it's so you, unique. You're like, that's our flagship episode. <laughs> We're groundbreaking. It is, dude. We broke ground there. Wouldn't you say, guys? Yeah, something. Yeah. I, have you been to? Did you answer my question? Do you, have you been to a reunion? No. Nah. Then why don't you go? You're a headlining comic now at the comedy store. You've been on this and that. Well, how come you don't go? I mean, I, I just, I mean, I'm kind of with you. 
Oh, I under, I under, what? How hypocritical. I mean. Wow. I mean, I don't want to go to my high school reunion. But the, the, you're, you're hitting the 30-year reunion, though. Dude, I'm fucking old. Oh yeah! Don't you want to hear who died from your class, <laughs> dude? I made that mistake. No, I made that mistake. What? I said a certain name to my buddy. Oh no! And I didn't know. And he goes, "Dude, he died in like oh seven. Oh, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm on the phone, like, huh? He goes, "Dude, don't ever bring that up again." He goes, "If you go, dude, don't bring that up." Hey, can we do some scissors to clear the air a little bit? Yes. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I got love for Poway, man. Oh, dude, I know you do. I got, I got love for Poway Unified. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would definitely go if like all my wrestling mates were there. There's no wrestlers going. No, like ex wrestlers. Oh, then yeah. It, you know what I'm saying? I would like yeah. to, but if my coach's daughter will be there. Amy Ramsider will be. You know? Yeah, she'll be there. Yeah, with her kid. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we both agree. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're, we're not mean, reunion guys. I, well, I just. But you love your uh, your alma mater. Yeah. I, I stay in touch with a handful of people from my high school. You do. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I literally I went to Hooters when I was back in Kansas City with a couple of buddies. You went to Hooters? It's a dumb tradition. We've been going since high school. But I now, love I love that you do that. But uh, but I'm gonna be honest. It it felt creepy this time. Why? <laughs> I'm like. A dad with two kids that was at Hooters now. I was like, what the frick? This feels different now. Yeah. I hadn't been in a couple of years, like, because it was like pre me having kids. Yeah. And now that I have kids and like, I'm like, like getting well into my thirties. Like, I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. Did you ever um, have a crush on a Hooters employee? Dude, of course. Do you ever? Uh... Of course. And then you try to... You, uh, take uh maybe because you could buy some of those uh dolphin shorts dude hooters in the like the, the orange dude. dolphin shorts did i ever it, buy them yeah like why would just to smell them or just <laughs> try them on or something no i never bought hooters Ryan, orange what's, what shorts laughing, bro? just to smell them but you know put them on and like you know like on some fucking buffalo bill shit bro like you put them on and you cut you know Dude, Buffalo Wing Bill. <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo Wing <laughs> yeah, Hooters Bill. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So how come us as Scissor Bros haven't gone to Hooters? Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay, we can go. For my birthday. It's coming up. Yeah. Do you really want to go for your birthday? Yeah. Really? That's I your, wanna, but I want... That's your choice? Yeah. I'm taking you to wherever for your birthday. Let me think about that. Because <laughs> I'll probably be there and be like, I uh, shouldn't have picked Hooters, man. Uh, dude, I know. How good? The food's a little bad. It's not that good, huh? It's no, actually, the thing is, though, the only, one of the only reasons I actually do go back, I yeah. do really like the wings there. You do? Yeah. So I like all drumsticks. Can they do that? I think it would cost more, but yeah, yes. Yeah, like maybe 250 more? Minimum, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'd like to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I like their fries, and don't they have like mozzarella cheese sticks, and don't they have yeah, good they appetizers? Yeah, they pickles, yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Do that food. Mm -hmm. That you took me to what? as for the um, for the punishment from from the Doctor Phil episode, mm -hmm. not the punishment, but I the the game that I won. Oh yeah, I took you to oh, let's yo let's talk about that the hot, dog hot dog place. place. Yeah, hot what? dogs, hot dog. Is that what it's called? Was it not dog house? Dog, dog house. D o g h a u s. D -O -G -H -A -U -S. Yeah, dude, dude, best one hot the, dog around. This is one of the best hot dogs I've had in my life. Oh yeah. It was amazing. What, what was in ours again? Uh, we had the same thing. There was yeah. Uh, we had uh, it was it was like a bacon wrapped hot dog, in it. jalapenos, bacon, yeah. and then it had like their their sauce, their special sauce on yeah. it. Yeah. And dude, it was on Delicious, this special dude. bread and tater tots. Oh. He he had, I had chili cheese tater tots. Chili cheese tater tots. Yeah, dude, that was bomb. Yeah, it was good, dude. Dude, Ryan would love it. Let's roll a clip real quick. <laughs> Whoa, Stevie took me out to. Amazing restaurant. Yeah, right baby. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, did I tell you that um I panicked? Um, I had a guest for the Stevie Weeby show, and when I when we tried to press record, that th uh, there was a, something wrong with my memory card. What happened? It no longer works. So, I that thing lasted me for about five years. So, um. I had a splurge on a new memory card. What is splurging for you on a memory card? It was more than I thought it would be. 
how many uh, gigabytes was it? 128. That's good. I spent like $38. And that's a lot for a memory card that you might use for five years again? <laughs> when you say it like that, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, if you break that down into months, brother, <laughs> eight dollars right. a so year, ridiculous. dude, that's crazy. Dude, what is wrong with me, dude? God, break out of your shell, Steve, and live life. Spend some money. Fuck. I buy Starbucks every day, and I can't. Frugal Brothers strike a... again. Frugal Brothers strike again. Frugal, Frugal Brothers, Brothers strike, strike again. again. Frugal Brothers like again. again I don't like and to again, spend and again, I don't like and to again. spend um, Yeah, so when I was in there There was one for nineteen ninety nine. But the other one had, um, I guess, better uh, pixelation Or like, it, it, it was just More it was, speed or something yeah, yeah, so I'm like, you know what? It's for the show. It's for the content. I got to get the best possible memory card that Best Buy has to offer. So, uh, yeah, I did it. And I felt good about it. Yeah. So, so do you guys, so how many memory cards do we use for this? Um, we use four. Mm-hmm. Four? Yeah. One, two, three. Actually, there's two five. cameras. Well, there's two cameras. Five, so, five with Ryan's camera. Well, yeah. No, there's two. One, two. There's gonna we be have a third, third camera. We have the my camera. Three. We have the the audio. So the, your camera has a memory card in it. Yes. Mm-hmm. What? So that's three. It's five, Steve. Okay. Where's the other two then? The third camera. Where's the third? Right here. Oh, but is that rolling? No, but it will be. Okay. And then we have the for the audio. Okay. You know, someone said um, that I have the worst looking mullet around. Is that true? No. Heck nah. But I, I, it's not supposed to be a mullet. I'm trying to do a rat tail. So it's kind of like I... I, I, I can, <laughs> that is driving me crazy. Can you stop doing that, please? Yeah. I'm trying to talk to you, please. Not a problem. <laughs> Keep going. It it caught me off guard because I I'm trying my intent when I went to Floyd's. Dude, will you stop doing that? That's driving me crazy. <laughs> what the frick? You're bugging! I know because Why? you're not listening to me. I'm trying to talk to you about. I'm trying to. Vent about oh, like, I'm sorry. The, 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 I'm the, sorry. Hey, you know? I wasn't listening to your Best Buy memory card story closer. Gerald, what do you think about it? This dude's a bitch. He keeps proving it over and over. All right. You're right, Gerald. Sorry. And Terrence, what do you think about it? If he were my seed, he would already be drowned. Now, let me ask you something. When you do that, is that like a tick? Like, like in your mind... It like, because you process a lot where you're like, okay, this is a boring downtime, and then you just start playing the keyboard. <laughs> that is, that's what it is, right? <laughs> I know you, motherfucker. I know that's exactly your thought process. In your mind, you're like, okay, Steve's being boring. Uh, Steve's, a, yeah, just call him Steve Repeater. Yeah, it's the same shit. Okay, let's turn on the keyboard. I'm going to call dun, you. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, what is this, hey. Steve? Tell your stupid story. Hey, dun, 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 hey dun, Joel, dun. Joel Stokes or somebody who, who wants to make art, can you make, can you make <laughs> Steve with a hood and a sickle and just put the grim repeater underneath? <laughs> I do repeat. Just call me Steve Repeater. Stevie Stevie Repeater. Stevie Repeaty. Stevie Repeaty. I repeat. But it's not intentional. It's a mental illness. I disagree. It's a mental illness. I disagree until you and you know it. No. There's no freaking way, dude. He knows it. The tree knows it. Really? Lamar knows it. Yeah, repeaty syndrome, Jeremiah. Come oh, okay. On, yeah, it's a mental health situation. Mm-hmm. My mom does. You know what my mom does? What? Because I do the same thing. With my mom. She really shuts me down. She goes, "I know, Stevan." Shh. You know, I'm like, "Oh shit." Shut up! And she tells me to shut up. Shut up! 
I'm like, okay, well. So just tell me to shut up next time. I'm not going to tell you to shut up. This is, come on, man. This is Susan Bros. If you don't like a story, you know, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> when you, if you were to do that, it would hurt my feelings. Okay. But I know what you're doing. You're bored as fuck. And you're like, oh, God. Steve, I'm sorry. Steve's doing that thing again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it is honestly, it is a little could, bit of a tick of mine. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's but, like, but that infuriates it's me like, because I need you to be present. Okay. Well, it's like me being, uh, okay. So I have this syndrome, right? And this is, this is something oh, I've know. been, no, no, I've been diagnosed with this, Steve. This is no, real. I, I doubt that. No, listen. No, 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 no. Listen. I want I want to see the doctor's okay, yeah, uh, yeah. notes. Okay. So this is mine. When I have a yeah. toy in front of me for too long, I got to play with it. It has nothing to do with being bored at hearing the same fucking stories over and over again. Ah. <laughs> it does. I came kind of new with it. The, you know? No, no. The, we do um, the Andy Warhol <laughs> thing. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go no, down the list. we don't have to go down the list. That was new. We don't have to. The memory card thing hey, was new. Hey, you know what I'm actually you know proud of you? Oh, you know the what I'm reunion? Proud for? Dude, Can I, tell I you? had a whole Listen, can I tell you what I'm proud for? Can I tell you what I'm proud of you for? What? Is that I like when we do this. What? What we're doing right now. I like this. Why why do you like this? Listen, listen, listen. It's banter, bro. It's like, dude, it's it's almost kind of like a sign of disrespect a little bit. It's like, it's like (laughs) me at one of your shows, like right before you do the punch show. No. And I have like, ah. No, 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 I'm yawning. I'm silently yawning. No. And you, you look over, you're doing a bit and you look at me, you're scissor bro. And I'm like, you're comparing this podcast that we do. I'm just saying in entertainment, man. It's it's kind of the same vibe. Okay, I'm glad. It's the same vibe. I'm glad you finally. And I would never do that to Listen, you. I wouldn't yawn. I'm glad. I'd be attentive. That I'd be glad, like, that's my boy doing his thing. I'm glad that you are finally looking at Scissor Bros as entertainment. I like that. That's good. I hate I hate it at the fact that I saw him nod to that. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the fucking the top of his head go like this, and that pissed me the fuck off. That pissed me the fuck off, dude. Cause now, hey, I gotta now, ask no, you. No, every I gotta time I show up, you. it's two against one. No, it's, it's not. this, this that's against been, the little Steve, guy, man. That's been inside your head literally no, since man. Ryan joined the team. He's on your team. No. You see the way? He, might as well. He was sucking your dick right there. He's like, yeah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I'm on his team. Hey, hey dude. You better take my side when we do our thing. You know. Yeah. You know what I'm talking hey, Ryan, about, dude. Agree you know with what I'm Steve talking about. That you're just sucking my dick. Hey, man. Yeah. Okay. You're right, Steve. That's what was happening. Well, I don't like that either. <laughs> God, lighten up a little bit, man. You know we're just riffing. <laughs> dude, you're in the pink zone right now, brother. Well, you see this fucking sweat, man. We're in the sauna right now, no, brother. It's not even that hot in here. Dude, what's the temperature in here, Ryan? <laughs> he should have what's never, the fucking he should have never Ryan, gotten that thermometer. Ryan, he should have never what's gotten the that. fucking temperature up with this motherfucker? <laughs> Guess. 91. Absolutely not. It's 82. See, dude, that's not even that hot. What's the challenge? I don't know if we're there yet, dude. We're there, dude. No. I already we're died. Not even, I exhausted my list. We're of not even there. The, the fucking talking points. Okay, let's talk about this. The reason why we were out and about with each other. We did Andre's podcast. Uh, we did for SOS VHS. We yeah, ju- is that going to be out by the time this is out? I think. We'll see. We'll roll the dice. We'll talk about it. Um, we chose lost boys for our movie to dissect and we got to dress up as michael and david from lost boys and we oh, looked good can i can i show the promo of us singing that song oh yeah cry little sister thou shall not hear thou little thou shall not hear Ready? Ready? You guys know yeah. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. When you're strange and then people come out in the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. Watch us on SVHS with his sister Rose. Strange. 
Michael. <laughs> yeah. See? No, that was good. Thank you. Entertainment. I was on my toe. Entertainment. Yeah. And I was on, I thought of that and I go, this is my opportunity. Let's slot that in in this moment because I'm thinking about the entertainment value. Okay. Talking okay. about entertainment. You know what we haven't done in a long time that's been a little bit mm-hmm. sad for me. See, there you go again. No, I was thinking about that earlier. Uh, no, see, we how literally you're fucking have not done with it. Him? Do you hear you? Hear, mm-hmm. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, Steve. Get Here's in what line. we're going to do. We're going to do a dance break outside, get some fresh air, and we're going to reset right now. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I can't do it too much right now. Oh, that's right. I'm 92% healed. Okay, circles, 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 circles. Look at these sandals, man. The other way, the other way. Hey, are, are you right. dancing at home along Back with us? Back to public house. Circles. The other way. <laughs> to the side, to the side. <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> Dude, okay. Pelvic <laughs> rest. Okay. <laughs> we hope you're dancing with us. Oh, I just got a spider rub on my face. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <laughs> it was. Genuinely. Well, the fresh air felt good. Dude, you know what? Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, it, well, it was a couple of weekends ago, but I hadn't <sighs> got a chance to talk about it yet since we had Dr. Phil in last week. And, mm-hmm. you know, it was, it was an intervention on... Mm-hmm. Well, it really us. wasn't, and it was. It was, and it wasn't. What do you mean? Well, we didn't really talk. <laughs> we didn't really do an intervention. Well, that's why we have to have him back. Is because, yeah. Because, like, he tried to solve some of it, but I felt like he was kind of, like... Like, in his own world, yeah, yeah. Doing his thing. And I don't want to. I don't like interrupting him because he's, you know, it's he Doctor Phil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a respect factor there. No, wanna, there is. You know, you know I don't, don't want to. You know, him. he's yeah. he's and, an OG. And yeah. we're glad you guys like that episode. Yeah. We'll have him back on. Um, he helps us a lot with our issues and stuff. But anyway, oh, yeah. uh, I was in Kansas City a couple weekends ago, and uh, I got to hang out um, with my family. I got to do shows there, and it was it was awesome, dude. It was such yeah. a good trip. Um. Did you, um, are there any standout moments? I went to a, uh, a soccer game. You did? Yeah. MLS? Uh, yeah, Sporting Kansas City. Oh, wow. Yeah. How was that? Dude, it was awesome. I hadn't been to a soccer game wow. in years. How much were the tickets? Uh, I don't think they were crazy expensive. My, yeah. my brother bought them for me, so I don't know. Oh, that's It was great. nice. I tried to, I tried to offer and he's like, no, absolutely yeah. not. Did you eat some uh, home, home cooked meals? Yeah, but uh, at, pizza the, at the sporting, not this time, but at yeah. the sporting KC game, they had an amazing, uh, like barbecue nachos that were so freaking good. W- what are in those? Like pulled pork nachos. Damn, that it was sounds really bomb. good, dude. Really? Um, but it was a it was a tie tie game. Really? I know. Yeah. You're supposed to go to penalty shootouts. Two to two. No, they just. Oh, right, that happens in soccer. Yeah, yeah, tie, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they which, all take a point. Which I wish. Yeah. That they didn't do that because I'm like, this is a dude. A tie well, it's on is... a point system. Like for the I English know, Premier League, uh, if you win a game, it's three points. If you tie a game, it's one point. I each know. each each team gets a point. If you lose, you get nothing. So and then at the end of the season, they tally up the points to see who's. I don't like w- that system to be honest. Well, that's the way it's been for all these leagues for like many, many, many years. Yeah, who can yeah. I talk to about that? Oh, uh, FIFA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. FIFA. Yeah, it was a little anticlimactic that it was a yeah. tie. Because I want like you know I want a freaking sudden death. Yeah. I want either sudden death or some PKs, bro. Yeah. That was one of my specialties back in the day is blocking oh, PKs as a goalie. I'm sure. Oh, you're good at them, huh? Oh, yeah. Because your mind. People feared me. No, but you you have the strong mind game. You're good at psychology and stuff. Mm. So you, you, you're probably. Lo- Did you ever look at the kicker, the. The person in the eyes. I looked like I was gonna kill them every. I know, time. but I. But did you look at? Do you get eye contact? Always, I always. Do. See, that's what did that scared them. That's why a lot of people taking uh, penalty kicks don't look at all at the keeper. They literally look at the ground, and then. Oh, I'd probably get inside their heads. That's what I'm saying, I bro. Blood. It, a lot of it's telepathy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're looking, they they could be like, okay, he's going to the right, he's going to the left, but and then. There's certain people, and tell me if, if this is cheap. Be, they'll do a, a like a little hop, and then they'll, you know. Oh, that's very common. That's very common. What in in MLS? 
I mean, just like in soccer, when I remember even playing, people would try to always fake me out and stuff like that. Like they'll do a, like a hop, a half yeah. hop, and then they'll kick it. Because they're hoping that you jump to the yeah, wrong side. to react. So what but do you I, do? Dude, I, thought, I... What did you do? This was, this was before it got to a skill level where you realistically, you couldn't do that. Dude, I was really good at literally zoning in back in the day and waiting until I saw the ball leave like like them connect with with their foot on the ball and then i would make my decision so how did you so did you already make your just so you're saying you made the a split decision then right then and there in the moment which is wow which i think that i couldn't end up doing that as the skill level got higher and the kicks got faster and stuff but as a kid that's what i would do so you would you say you you saved like half the kicks oh yeah i was real good at blocking pks really yeah yeah, I was oh, really that would have been that. amazing if you just. If oh, you, dude, people would erupt when I would block those things. In they the, would get in mad. The stands. Oh well, the team would the teams would be pissed because. Oh, they would talk shit. <laughs> no, sometimes I feel like <laughs> I'm starting to say something, and then you say all of the things that I'm not going to end up saying. <laughs> it's just a pros, yin, yin and yang, baby. They trying to suck your dick. <laughs> I'm like, dude, Steve, I yeah. didn't know. No, I didn't say that. I said, did they talk shit? <laughs> and then suck your dick. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that, Ryan? Oh, oh, oh. He's getting a lot. He's getting a lot of confidence being on the show now. <laughs> you think he's a problem being on the show now? Oh, no, man. He only had one peanut When last are we going to have him and Andreas box? I'm down. Dude. You think you could beat Andreas? He's so much faster than you. I know. How would you contend? I got to hit him one time. You know what? I texted Andres after we did SOS VHS, and I said, we want to have you on as a guest solo. Mm -hmm. When Andres comes on, you and I are not going to participate in the challenge. Ryan and Andres are going to participate. Yeah. Head would you head. like that, Ryan? Yeah, I'm down. Dude, let's freaking do that. Dude, producer did you hear producer. it? I heard it in oh, his no, no. voice. I heard his comp competitive competition. I heard the adrenaline. I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Wow. From Mexico. Holy shit! Whoa, but he's fighting for South America. No, he's Spanish. He's Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. In, that's in South America. What would be a great? What would, just on the fly? Shh. Yeah, dude. Come on, we might have to edit come on, that man. out. Edit um, what would be a good challenge for him and Andreas that's competitive, just on the fly? Something Hispanic would be fun. Ah, uh, what? Because you're kind of like it's Spain eliminating. It's Spain versus Mexico. <sighs> It is Spain versus Mexico. Dude, this is like a classic Street Fighter. <laughs> Maybe like kind of a matador thing. Me and you is the bulls? <laughs> Dude, I freaking love it. Really? Yeah. And we could really We're, like commit to the, the bull. Like we could do it. Dude. Oh, can we get horns? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a Spanish thing. Dude, that would be sick. Yeah. Spain. Yeah. How would yeah. we do it? So We're, you hear what? You're upset that it might be in his favor? Nah, I just hate Spain. Oh! Whoa. This we're, is some new territory dude, that we're treading upon. There's some hostility there, bro. And also, Cicero, what is your problem, Cicero bro? Bros don't say the yeah, H Yeah, we don't what hate anybody, bro. About, man? Not even people who are malicious to and us. And not even people I really do hate. I'll never say a hate. <laughs> right. Not even people <laughs> I just, you know, have really been... I'm not talking to them right now. Who might even be well, I like... I dislike them a little bit. Trying to press our buttons in a yeah, certain way that we've but don't been, ever say that word. Yeah, the H word. We're all about the love the here, L baby. Word. Yeah. We're all about the love. Where is the, the love? love? Where, Where is, is the love? Where is... Do you know... I'm going to guess that you don't know that's an actual song. Black Eyed Peas. Oh. Whoa! My God. Dude! Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I'll never test your Black Eyed Peas knowledge again. Hey, uh, Steve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you oh. wear those in the Uber on yeah, the way over here? Could, you, could I be the Uber driver yeah. and you be the... Uh, Steven? Yeah, Steven. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, can I roll the window down? Uh, sure, yeah, okay. whatever you need. Um, you have I a like good... A, I like a Corolla, man. Oh, thanks, it's just a Corolla, but thank what, you. What year is it? Uh, it's, uh, 2015. I love it. 
Yeah. Uh, you having a good day Where so far? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Uh, Black Eyed Peas, one of, one of my favorite bands. Where is the love? People Where killing, love? people dying, children hurt and hear them crying. Can you practice what you preach? Will you turn the other cheek? Yeah. Father, 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 send some guidance from uh, above. above. These people yeah. got me, got me questioning. Yeah. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Why don't we do the same? What's wrong with the world, mama? Um. Dude, Ryan even knew that. I know. That's a, what. That well, is a no, classic. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to skip past this hostility. Do you really? You don't have hatred in your heart, do you? For, for only for Spain. Why the World Cup? What's going on? No, man. Why? Because Latin America. Both Spanish-speaking it's in countries. My roots. But they're both Spanish-speaking countries, man. Yeah, they're colonizers. Whoa! Whoa. I felt that as a white. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Looks like Scissor Bros Live ain't going to Madrid, huh? Holy shit. Scissor Bros Live ain't going to Portland anytime <laughs> soon. We're talking about Madrid. Oh, Scissor Bros Live is going worldwide, oh, baby. Wait, 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 can I tell make an announcement about Scissor Bros Live? Go ahead, dude. We I told you about this a while ago, so I don't, know, dude. So remember. Go ahead, dude. LA. We're doing the we've only done one other Scissor Bros Live in the history of this podcast, and that was at Ari Manis' apartment show. We have not done another Scissor Bros live in LA since then. It's been over two years. We have a special breaking news announcement. We are gonna do a Scissor Bros live for free at the farmer's market in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. And we're gonna team up with Kaylin and Kaylin. Yeah, go. And we are gonna have exclusive pickles. B -b 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 pickles, baby. Limited edition Scissor Bros pickles, collectible B -b 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 containers. Pickles. You guys can come and get them live and participate in the challenge live with us at the farmer's market in September. Putting it out there so yeah, people uh, and Scissor siblings who are out of town can start making their plans now. We'll drop the date soon. But in September, Scissor Bros live in LA for free, y'all. Isn't that amazing? I love it. All right, but we are at the challenge now. Are we? Yes. Wow, Mr. Yay! Segway over here. Mr. Positive now. So the challenge for this week. This is a fun one, man. It yeah. is? Yeah. It's fun. Uh, it's a common bar game. It's a hook and ring game. Show it to the camera. I don't, I don't know what that is. So That looks like something out of Karate Kid or something. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Look at it that way. So each of you will be on one side of this uh, hook and ring game. You will pull up the ring and drop it and try to get it to land on the hook. Okay. okay. How many tries do we get? So on the board, see, you got to make it to the end. So you got to go six. So you got you have markers on this board. You make it six times. Six times and you win. Okay. Can I guess what the punishment is? Sure. Whoever loses gets a, a finger that's hooked in their yeah. asshole. A butt hook. Is that it? <sighs> okay. So, for the punishment, <laughs> we'll be playing the same game, but it'll be much bigger. I'm gonna call you same one gay or game? I'm going to call you One Track Jack. <laughs> it'll be much bigger. You know it'll what? Next across... week, I won't even do no gay shit. How much do the viewers... <laughs> Want to, I swear to God, dude. Want to guess I, won't at do home. No, I won't do no gay shit. Okay. I'll keep it fucking 100. Okay. Hetero. Mm. I'll keep it hetero. Yeah? I'll keep it 100% hetero. Okay, we'll see. Okay. So the punishment will be playing a much bigger version of the same game where it'll take a, the whole room, right? We'll hang the string from the ceiling. And instead of uh, a ring, there's this ball with thumbtacks on it. And instead what? of uh, a hook at the end, it's your butt. I knew I had to do with it, your asshole or your butt. I thought of that for you, buddy. So the winner will get to drop it. It'll swing across, hit the other person in the bare butt. butt? Yep. Oh, yeah. Dude, do you have band-aids or first aid or 
He's you a might dad. Have a skin, he has bro. all that stuff. I've got all that stuff. Who thought of this? He didn't. What do you mean? He thought it of was it? actually him. Yeah. <laughs> He wanted to do something, a nut shot, and I'm like, I literally can't handle a nut shot right <laughs> yeah. now. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. Get to the challenge. All right. Like Ryan said, first to six wins. We're using this as the marker. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Uh, then when you're done, loser gets the spike ball thrown at them from across thrown? the room. No, 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 not thrown. But swung. Th- swung. Swung. On a swing. And you get six attempts or how many attempts? Oh, at the end? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> it's not going to hit perfectly. I mean, you decide. It's your it's your punishment. You pick. Until we, you get one hit. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to hurt. That's going to puncture your skin. We'll see. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Steve? Yeah. Okay, first to six wins. In three, Ryan? Yep. Three, two, one, go. No. Yeah. Dude, did you see that one? I didn't. I was he not. He did a double uh, tap. No, I didn't, I didn't touch it. You I didn't touch it once. Tap. I touched it once. I went like this, and then it ricocheted off here and went in. That's that counts. I, it did dude. look like he touched it I again, did, But Steve. I didn't touch. You can look at the camera. I didn't touch it twice. I, look, I touched it once. Count. All right, I'm going to keep playing. Okay. I'm being honest. All right, all right, all right, you got one. I got one. That was crazy. Yeah. So crazy. Oh, great. Come on, man. You can also adjust the cord length if you need to. Oh, that's what this is for? Mm-hmm. There's no guarantee of it'll make, you'll make it better or worse, though. <laughs> I just really messed mine up. Made it too long. Oh! oh. That's too. <laughs> it didn't. Even... I didn't. Even... <laughs> this is so stupid. Is there a time limit on this? No. What if we hear a fucking an hour? Then you take an hour. No, at some point we'll start a countdown. Your energy, dude. Cuz. Relax, dude. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay. Two. Am I allowed to do it the way I'm doing it? Yeah. That's only up one. Three. You motherfucker! You go you're you're across now, Jeremy. Yeah, there you go. God damn it, he's going it, he's doing it, he got a method. Oh my god. You, he got it. You're going way too close, Steve. What? <laughs> You're like walking it up to the hook, dude. No, I'm not. I want the viewers to slow dude. down that first one. so hard. I had a rhythm and then the board got moved a little bit. <laughs> Steve's just using the random technique now. Dude, you play this game like a drunk cat. <laughs> Oh my god. 
dust. He's getting so close with this random ass technique. <laughs> oh. This is kind of fun. Where'd you buy this game? Oh! Yep. That's three. <laughs> Three. Three to three. Yes! Oh, there's four for Jeremiah. Oh, that's five! I hate you guys. Wow, you're, you're, you're pretty close. I hate you guys so much. Oh, oh, oh Steve's at four. No, that's five. No, that's look, look where you are. You're at. No, I didn't move it the last time. That's five. This is the whole reason why we're using these I know, markers. I didn't move it though. I'm at five. Fine. You could rewind that too. Oh, he's gonna, he's trying to end it right now. Of course I am. Just quit moving dude, the you're, you're freaking moving thing. It too, dude. You're moving it too, dude. God damn it. Dude. Dude, you're moving. Yes. That's game. Oh, Jeremiah Woo! wins. Okay. <laughs> that's a little early. We still got to no, set it up. I'm going to get it done. We got to set this no, thing no, up. No, no, that's we not. We got to set it up, Let's though. Let's get it done, dude. Ready? <laughs> okay. All right, well, we'll do six. <laughs> hey, that was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Good job, guys. <laughs> hey, man. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, what are you doing, man? Dude, what are you doing, man? See? All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hey, that was fair. You got twice on my... What, what's fair is fair. Yeah. No, you take off your pants. Why? I won. Okay. Okay, out of solidarity. Yeah, out of solidarity. Don't cock back. I'm not... It's kind of scary. I know, it's right? It's kind of scary. Bend over a little. Okay. Oh, it's kind of scary seeing the swing. Oh. You have to bend over like doggy style. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>